Hey y'all, it's Lindsay with the Fiber Seed and it is Whip Wednesday where I share what I've been working on, which are a few things because it's been a little bit. Um, first up, went to SAF, had a fantastic time. I have to show you some things I got, um, but I started and finished a project while going there and while I was here. So let me share that with you. It's the Depth Hat by Talitha Kwomey. I used our half speckle peacock for this and I needed to find the perfect little palm top to it. Um, so <laughs> I searched and I found one. Um, I love it because it's tied. I found it in a Robin's Promise booth. So I tied it on so that the recipient, because it's not going to be me, can take that off if they want to. So I like how this turned out. It's in sprout worsted. You can make it in all three weights. And I made the brim a little bit wider so that it could cover the ear like a um, band around your head. So that's what I did. Finished, started, finished in the past week and a half. Week? I don't know. Anyway, other things I've been working on are swatches. For the uh, two new Inspired by Colorways that are releasing this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I still think we're in Daylight Time. I do not know. I feel like I will enjoy when it's not because I feel like I get more sleep. Anyway, what did I knit? The swatch of Gorilla 2 o'clock. So... This is Gorilla 2 o'clock. This is a little bit more green in real life than what's showing up, but not, it's a yellowy green. Anyway, this is how it looks knit up. This is how it looks in a hank. And these are the colors I have paired with it. Now these are minis, but they're easier to hold together. So you can put minis together with it or full hanks. But anyway, here are the colors. So you got Wenge, which is really dark brown. You got your uh, ginger, which is a nice orange. Your olivine, which is a lovely warm, warm green, yellow green. Um, midnight blue, which is a really, really dark blue. And then sandy, which is a nice tawny color. And then midsummer night. So those are the colors. There we go. I don't have enough hands to go with um, Gorilla 2 o'clock. And these are inspired by Eric Carle if, you're, if you are jumping in on this and have never heard about it before. That way you're like, why girl at 2 o'clock? It comes from one of his books. Anyway, what else? There's a second color. This one is Fireflies Dance Around the Moon. Both of these are from the Grouchy Ladybug book. So this has a nice light blue in here that you may or may not be able to see in the background. It's a very nice light wash in addition to the natural. So, but it's mostly about the speckles. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like knitted up. This is what it looks like wound into a skein, twisted into a skein. So you can see those washes of the, the light blue in here. So that's what that looks like. And the pairings for it are weathered. I'll get those tags out of there. Weathered, worn, which is really light blue. This is a new color, Brick House. So very, it's a warm red. And then navy and old gold. Old gold is also a new color. It's a very dark, rich gold color. Um, so those are the options for that. And then let's talk about what I got at SAF. Because I haven't been there in a very long time. And I saw some friends of mine. And they make wonderful things. I also met some new people and got some new things. So... Let's talk about, I got a lot of stuff from, anyway, okay, so first up, I got a couple of things from my friend Maria at Daughters of the Red Sunset. First is this eco printed mug, because you know how I feel about mugs, I really like them, and it fits my hands so nicely, but it's eco printed. So this, you see this, it is so pretty, had to have one. So I got myself a mug. I have been eyeing one of these forever. It's a silk scarf. And what's fun is that I, there's no top or bottom, but I'm gonna do it this way. Anyway, I can start to recognize what these are. So this is a red bud leaf. That's Dyer's Chamomile. That's Coriopsis. This is a goldenrod sprig. I love it. So I'm super excited about that. Finally got my hands on one. This is what the logo looks like. The Daughters of the Red Sunset. I got myself an eco printed sock blank. And knowing me, who is horrible at knitting socks quickly, I thought, what am I going to do? And then I looked up, and Maria 
had shown everybody how you can turn this into a cow by seaming those together and picking up the edge of this and putting on an edging on the top and the bottom. And then that will show this so lovely. I cannot wait. So that is a whip, I guess, because I'm about to start working on it to finish it up. But I'm super excited about that. And then I got some roasted chicory and dandelion coffee because it's tea, but it kind of has that flavor and look. So I'm excited about that. And then I got myself an elderberry syrup kit from her. So it's got all the things you need to make your own syrup and the instructions and links to the video classes, which is super awesome. Um, and a bonus, because I didn't realize that was going to be part of the, the kit. And I had been eyeing some of her classes because she did eco printing classes on her website and everything. So something to check out. Daughters of the Red Sunset. Um, what else did I get? I got these amazing because I go hiking. I don't, but I might. I have hiking boots, um, but I also, I like warm, cozy socks. And if you can see these, this is terry lined, basically, not lined, it's, it's terried. Um, but these are Rocky boot socks and they're all Pekka and they're thick. And I love me some thick hand, hand, not hand knit. Well, they're, the tips are hand sewn, so but they make these. This is their thing. The Phoenix Fiber Mill. They make socks and they're awesome. So there's that. And then I decided as I was walking around seeing everybody carrying these really super cute bags, um, basket bags. I had seen some Volga bags that I'd gotten um, and about a year ago. Huge. This is not even, you can see my hands. It's much bigger than this. I got a big basket. For all my knitting projects but I wanted a smaller one at the time there wasn't any and I see people walking around with purse sized ones and I'm going you know what although red paper airplanes is an amazing print for a purse not all situations call for that um so I found this at Twin Birch products booth and I'm super happy with it because I looked at what was available. I loved this, but also realized I've got a lot of clothing that I can wear with this. And hey, I now have a purse. So also doubles as a knitting bag, but that was also planned by me. Anyway, um, those are the things I did and made and purchased. And I am super happy with all of it. Um, so until next time though, because I have some other things on the needles, but they're not near me and I didn't really work on them, but I will be, I will be. So until next time though, happy crafting.